Hello, good morning. It's another wonderful day, and I'm here to do a video as usual on Peter Obi's candidacy, his presidential bid. So, I, I was going through uh, some messages on Instagram, and I saw the fact where uh, some people were accusing Peter Obi of leaving APGA to go to PDP, that he, f he won under uh, APGA and that he failed to sit back and actually build uh, APGA and make it a strong regional party that he left, that sort of like he betrayed uh, the party that gave him the opportunity to become governor by joining, uh, a a uh, by joining PDP. And so that took me to a, a particular thread I, I had done and i think uh, after this video i'm going to just put those threads uh just take them screenshot them from twitter and just do a video so that anyone who is interested can just see that of all the the tweets that that i did and this this thread that i did amongst the numerous threads that uh, i always do was in uh was in 2021 uh 10th of november that was when I did it. And I was looking at the issue of the, the Southeast, the issue of IPOP, and the fact that they were making people sit at home. And I'm like, this is such a, a, a huge um, uh, power that IPOP had and that it was just wasting by forcing people to stay at home and, and, and all of that. And I was doing, uh, I did this thread to say, APCA can actually look at its how it can politically use its power and i had done a thread before in i think that thread was around 2018 or 2019 when i did say up uh, instead of ipop to just wait and you know be doing all of this seat at home and everything they can actually deploy their power politically and imagine if they are able to uh, uh have like five governors uh have like 15 senators have like how many house of rep members has state houses of assembly members that would make more impact in issue of the uh self-determination that, that was going on rather than on the issue of uh, pro, uh protest uh, uh seat at homes and all of that because at the end of the day uh, like i did say one of the uh, trades that look you being on these trenches and everything, it will give you adrenaline. But the real power comes from political, uh, political power being at the set itself where decisions uh, are, be, are being made. But on this, that was a different tweet. Then last year, in, in, in November 2021, part of the things that I did where I did a whole lot of uh, threads saying, look, there can't even be sort of like a regional party. APCA is already very strong in, in the southeast and uh, you have IPOP there. So what, what will happen? Have a strong political uh, sort of like body that will ensure that competent candidates are being voted into office. Co a candidate with uh, a character capacity. So let that be sort of like, uh, how do I put it now? Sort of like... Uh, mm, like a master plan is i'm looking for another word but let me use master plan in case that other regions we use so that instead of us having this two uh, major parties or uh, something as of that time it was actually two major parties it's no longer just two uh, major major parties as of the time that i did the twitter says so of having that can we have regional parties on different on all the regions that are strong, that are, we really concentrate on ensuring that uh, great candidates emerge. And then at the national level, and I'm going to read a tweet, and, I, and I'll post that tweet on, on this video. And I said, the regional parties can have a candidate uh, uh, join the national parties to contest for presidential election. Meaning, if you've been at the regional uh, uh, party, uh, party and you've done your time, you've done this thing, by the time you're, it's time for like presidency, then this, the, the, all these regional parties can sort of like support you, which is basically like what uh, Peter, Obi, Peter Obi had done. You don't expect Peter Obi to remain at Abga as a local champion after he had done uh, being governor, when at the end of the day, we all know that Abga as it is, it's actually a regional party, just like we used to have AD before they collapsed uh, their own and even the CPC itself was also uh, a, reg a, regional, a regional party so you, a situation whereby you now have 
uh, from that regional party, you join the main party. So I don't see this issue where people are saying that, oh, Peter will be, oh, he left Abga to come and that is the way it should be. One of the things that we almost understand is that politics is not about your emotions. Politics is not about, eh, this is how I feel. No, it's about hard facts it's about looking at what is on ground it's about looking at the best possible way to achieve your the result that you want to achieve you might not have all the all, all all the elements as perfectly as you want it but you have some you 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 weigh the numbers the one that is best you use it in in, in ensuring that you get to to the goal that you want to achieve but what i see a lot of people try to do is this black and white truth oh we have to be like this oh yes like this oh we, we cannot work with anybody oh don't work with us you you are our enemy don't come near us don't. no come on you are talking about politics. Whoever becomes president is going to be the president of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Who, the, the whoever. It's not only president of the people that voted for him. It's not going to be president of only the people that like him. It's not going to be president of only the people that share the same uh, region or the same religion or whatever it is. So you have to work with everybody and you have to be strategic. And so expecting that Peter Obi is going to sit back, should have sat back at uh, Abga just because Abga, he, he became a governor through, uh, through Abga and then he must stay there even though it's a regional party and keep playing that local politics. No. Oh, that's 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 not politics that's not strategy there's no strategy there in any way whatsoever in politics you must be strategic in politics you must have long-term goals in politics you must always weigh the issues on the ground and choose the best way possible for the country you might not get all the things that you want at a particular moment but you keep going and it's like for for example i keep saying to people i say look when they keep saying that, oh, we have so many uh, uh, bad people in politics, you can't watch them. I say, look, let's start it little by little. It's just like you have a, a big bowl of dirty water, right? If you take away some dirty water, put in clean water, it might not be clean. It, it will still be dirty. It might even look as if there's nothing. But guess what? When you continue to throw away a little bit of that dirty water, add clean water, throw a little bit away, add clean water, one day, the clean water we overshadow the dirty water you have a clear water and then you get to a place one day it will not be clean water remaining because the dirty water will no longer find place for them to 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 to, to excel or for them to enable an environment for them to continue to thrive and so these are the things that people uh, have to ha have to look into it's not that oh i'm emotional i like this person because i like this person i must support this person and the person will be there i say a lot of people oh aisha why are you supporting peter b blah 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 let me tell you something as we are right now 2022 even if i aisha isufu was on the ballot paper i was running for president on the ballot paper as it is right now being and i'm a very pragmatic person i don't when i'm making decisions i keep emotions aside i don't use emotion i am not going to vote for moi aisha Talk less of telling me that, oh, why are you not voting for another person? Why are you supporting uh, Peter B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and, and all of that? At this moment, what is the most competent hand we can get into that, into that office? It's Peter B. We might not have all the things, the factors that we want checked out, but we'll make do with what we have. And we, as we go on, we'll continue to strive for better. We'll continue to ensure that the citizens have a voice because that is what we have right now. The citizens owning and understanding that they have a voice. And one of the things that I love about this, beyond what had happened uh, with the 2015, is that more people realize that they need to hold whoever gets into office accountable. That if, God willing, Peter Obi gets into office, it's not just to just assume that, oh, just leave. There are still some people who feel that, oh, don't do anything. He will do the right thing. But I'm seeing more and more people who are saying, no way. And I remember in 2015, saying the same thing to people. And those that are telling me that, oh, no, Buhari will do this. And I said, hope we will not have her dying. No. That was October 2014 when I made that statement. I was like, 
hope we will not have a period of hard I noon and then you know that's what we ended up having but of course now people realize that you must hold government accountable you can't vote people into office and just leave them and and go away so it's very important for us to understand the, the, what politics that is not something that it's, it's not a love affair that you you need to bring your emotion into it no it's about what are the interests right now our interest is good governance accountability and transparency then you look at who is the person who are, who are the sets of people that are most likely to give you that with everything on ground it's not the person is perfect it's not that oh there are certain things you will not have wanted change or something like that but who are the people and then you go for it and that's it and to continue to say that oh peter obi should have stayed in abga Ab to stay in abga be doing what no, he has outgrown Abga. So from Abga, he moves to where he will play national politics. Then there are other people who are entering into Abga now who will do amazing things in that place. For example, Frank Weke Jr., a no good state, have opportunity. We already have one in Anambra State, uh, Charles uh, Char Soludo. Uh, and then we have, a, uh, if we're able to have also uh, Frank Weke Jr. in a no good state entry, that's amazing. You've, we've already started what? Washing away the dirty water. That's how you wash wash away the dirty water. And then there are, I think, is it OT? Is it OT Abia? If I'm not mistaken, I, from uh, Labour Party, it's also running. Imagine you put that one into it. Before you know what's happening, people that are, don't have competence, character, and capacity will not even dare to come and run for governor because there are already people who are doing uh, such an uh, amazing job. Anyway, thank you so much. Bye.